Hello everyone, this is Barka Technical Solution and I am Fred Dostrom and in this video we are going to see how to create a circuit using the freezing software and we will be designing the circuit where we will use the LDR to make a light turn on depending on how much light or how uh, or the amount of light we are getting. So now let's go to our breadboard option and we will show you some shortcuts. So let's go to the view option and here you can see the zoom in is control and plus zoom out is control and minus and fit to window is control zero so if you use this you can see you can zoom out zoom in and make the whole everything fit to our window so that's how the short shortcuts work so this will be helpful when we are designing everything in here and you can use the control z option to undo and redo everything so now let's start building our circuit so first let's change the breadboard to half plus and here it is and let's rotate it keep it here and we are going to use the arduino uno r3 so let's go to our part section and click on the arduino logo and here is our arduino uno click and drag and now let's rotate this and keep it close to our breadboard now we will need two resistor uh, one of them will be 330 ohm and another one will be 10 kilo ohm so let's put these two on the sides so the first one i will use here yeah, the 330 ohm and the second one will be the 10 kilo ohm and this is a here we have the 10 kilo ohm resistor and i will need a led and a so first let's rotate this so we have it and put it here so we are going to connect the resistor to the cathode side of our led then we will need an ldr so let's search it from this search panel just write ldr and search and there we have our ldr here this is the photo cell ldr we will click and drag to our breadboard and rotate this also and this has no negative or positive side or cathode or anode so just connect any of this to the 10 kilo ohm resistor and now we are going to connect all of this to our arduino so connect the first pin of the led the cathode one and we will connect this to the ground pin of our Arduino so just click and drag so let's first connect it and then we will arrange it perfectly so sorry let's click on the wire and just drag it to however you want to adjust just like this and then we will connect the anode side of our LED to pin number 5 uh, which is this one and you can also and let's change this to red color and now we are going to connect this one uh, the LDR that is connected with the LDR pin that is connected with the resistor to the ground pin also and the other side of our LDR which is this one will be connected to the analog 0 pin or the A0 pin of our Arduino so, and you can press Ctrl Z to actually undo or redo anything color all of this to something else make this black and this one orange ok now our circuit is finished here so if you go to schematic here you can see all our component is here and we just need to rearrange them as you want so I will rotate this 
and keep it here then i will rotate this also now if i click on auto route then it will route all the wires automatically here as you can see routed except for this i don't know why so let's route it for ourselves connect it to here and we can just adjust it however we want so here we have everything routed this is all our schematic part and so now if we go to our pcb as you can see it is also designed everything is designed here and let's just split everything and keep everything on one side so now if i click the auto route option it will be all the wirings will be routed automatically but you can obviously change everything as you want so now for this pcb design if you want to design a pcb just like this you can export the pcb from here as here is written export for pcb you can click from here and you can select a folder and export it to any of this format so you can select the format from here from this little arrow the extended jarbar is the one that you should actually select if you want to order this to fabricate and other than that you can choose the pdf or spg file and if you want to print or export the schematic or the breadboard image from here just go to the file then save save as you can save this this folder and to export for as any image you have some options which is png jp jpg svg and pdf and as for production you have some options also and we have some other options so you can check all them out and then the last thing we have is code so if we just get any code and write here i will show you we copy any code and paste here just like this and then we have to connect our arduino to our pc and after you have connected it from here choose the port that is connected to your pc as for me it is com3 you have to check which one is the real one and the model is arduino uno yes and the board is arduino so from here just upload the program and it will want to be saved so you can save it uh, and name it if you want and here as you can see the prepping the board verifying so here is, as you can see now uploading and upload finished so now everything is done we just now have to go to our so now if we create the circuit that we have designed in our breadboard section just like that in with our arduino and after that we will upload the program to our arduino just like i have shown showed you and now if we see if i place my hand in front of the ldr you will see the light is turning on because when, when the light detects that there is less amount of light it will turn the light on so this is what our circuit is meant to do so as you can see it is doing it perfectly so that's how you can actually design a circuit in fridging so thanks everyone for watching the video if this video is helpful please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos like this